show chapters employee stock purchase plans 26 minutes ago, 117 the company you work for may let you purchase company stock at a discounted price. The formal name for this is an employee stock purchase plan, or ESPP, and if used correctly, these stock purchases can boost your bottom line. According to Sophia Barra, founder of Gen Y Planning, here's how it works. Your company lets you buy its stock at a discount, which can range from 10% to 15%. For example, more from straight talk, estate plans, not just for the wealthy forget FAA and G. Invest in these tech trends nearly every financial plan written has been wrong. Advisor if you choose to participate. The deductions are taken out of your paycheck. Just like your 401k contributions. The stocks are then bought in bulk at one point in time. Alongside other employees' contributions. That purchase typically happens every six months. You then have the ability to sell those shares immediately and lock in the gains from the discounted price you paid, Barra said, or you can hold on to your shares for later. Sign up for our newsletter Your Wealth Weekly Advice on Managing Your Money Sign up now get this delivered to your inbox and more info about about our products and services by signing up for newsletters. You are agreeing to our terms of use and privacy policy. If you'd like to hang on to your employer stock for preferred tax treatment, the best thing you can do is to wait until at least one year after the purchase period and two years after the initial offer date, Barra said. At that time, the gains will be taxed as long-term capital gains, which is typically taxed at a lower rate than your ordinary income, Barra said. Keep in mind that there is usually a limit to how much you can invest in an employee stock purchase plan, such as no more than $25,000 per year or 15% of your salary. If you can afford the payroll deductions, the ESPP is a great way to invest in your company's stock at a discounted rate, Barra said. However, you want to make sure to balance this with your other financial priorities.